All right, guys, in this video, today we're going to talk about what is German New Medicine. Uh, German New Medicine is something that helped me uh, going from being stuck on boring land diets, and every time that I, I cheated or had something delicious, like eating a piece of cake on my birthday, you know, just resulted in diarrhea and all sorts of fun. German New Medicine has helped me get to a place where I can eat whatever I want, whenever I want, as much as I want. I want to help you guys get there too because it sucks not being able to eat out with your friends, you know, watch your friends eat pizza and stuff and have zero digestive issues. And then if you have like a one, one crumb of that pizza, you get thrown into a flare. It's not fair. I want to show you uh, why this is and German New Medicine helps explain this. So this is going to be a quick explanation of German New Medicine to properly explain the five biological laws it, it takes about an hour and so i will link to another video that's the longer version but this is the short version of what german new medicine is now it's a little bit of a ridiculous name like it's called new medicine why would we call it new medicine he, he originally wanted to call it new medicine and this is because it's a whole new way to think about how disease and how health works. Uh, a truth is stranger than fiction when you follow the facts, when you operate off a of data that that's true only 100% of the time instead of just making shit up with statistics, uh, things can be you know quite different from what we normally believe. And what we normally believe today does not work. Uh, even with all the holistic and organic stuff, disease rates are higher than ever and it doesn't do a very good job at treating these conditions. So um, I'm just going to get into the story about how, how it works. Uh, so it was created or founded by Dr. Ha Hammer. He was a, a German uh, cancer doctor. Sorry if I don't have all these uh, uh, details straight. Uh, you can find more accurate information on learninggnm.com, uh, which is created by Carolyn Marklin. But, you know, he was German, so all this work was in German. But the way he got started doing this is uh, uh, his son unexpectedly died from a gunshot wound. It was kind of like this freak accident, and his son died, and, you know, understandably, he was very upset about this. And then a few months later he developed testicular cancer and he was a very healthy individual so he thought uh you know that must be you know that's kind of odd and so what he did he looked at the brain scans of his patients that had testicular cancer and he found a ring-shaped formation in the exact same location uh for all these patients for him and all of his tech particular uh, cancer patients, they all had this ring formation in their brain in the exact same location. And he thought that was pretty interesting, so he started looking at like lung cancer patients, and sure enough, uh, in a different location in the brain, they all had the same, they all had the same, uh, he called it a Hammer focus, uh, this, in the, uh, they had a ring shape formation in the same exact location. So, you know, he believed that everything was controlled in the brain, you know, our psyche or thoughts and somehow I'm moving is, you know, my brain is responsible for this. You know, the, my blood's pumping and all the subconscious things that are happening in our bodies. These are all somehow one way or another controlled in the brain. So this is kind of where he started going with this. And so if you want more information on this, uh, Caroline Marklin translated, translated his work, worked with him uh, very closely, translated his work into English and it is available for free on learninggnm.com. So let's get o let's go over the five biological laws. And this is a very quick overview of the laws that is not extensive by any means, but it's kind of a, a quick crash course to kind of help you understand what German new medicine is. Because some people are like, oh is it a pill or is it a type of medicine I inject in no it it's it's um it's a whole new way to think about how disease works. So the first 
uh, biological law uh, kind of states, and again, this is a very abbreviated version of the first law, is um, instead of calling diseases diseases, we are, we are instead referring to them as significant biological special programs. These are programs that get activated from a DHS or a conflict shock that catches us off guard. So in Dr. Hammer's case, when his son passed away unexpectedly, this was a conflict shock. It caught him off guard and the organ that is associated with that type of conflict is the, is the, the testicles. His, um, you know, his son was taken from him. So, um, you know, the body adapt, you know, adapts with that by, um, you know, I don't know, doing something in the testicles, you know, make more sperm so you can have, uh, you know, a better chance creating another offspring. All these diseases are designed to help you, you know, survive this conflict. You know, so they're either going to be um, these these special biological programs. They're either going to they're they're different combinations for the vast majority of them. Uh, they 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 run on each organ and different tissues on the organ. Uh, they're either going to respond with cell proliferation or cell removal, and it, it's it's and vice versa. That's how it's really that simple. That's how it works. So. Let's get into, again, there's, there's so much more information for, for me to share on just this first law. Um, but again, there's a better video for that done by Caroline Marklin, and I'll link to it down below. But the second law states that these, that these uh, uh, biological special programs run in two phases, provided that there is a resolution to the conflict. So when his son passed away, he went into the conflict active phase. And so let me just give this to you from someone with a, like uh, someone with Crohn's disease or someone with colitis. So when they, so the, the conflict associated with that is an indigestible uh, morsel conflict. So someone, let's say someone has Crohn's, they, their parents yell at them and that's a, they experience it as an indigestible morsel conflict uh, with anger and frustration. They're angry at their parents. And so when they're in the conflict active phase, their gut is trying to help them digest this indigestible morsel in their life. So it's, it does this by, with, with cell proliferation. It's making more cells uh, so that your digestive organs can perform better and, and break down this morsel or, or absorb this morsel. And then when the conflict gets resolved, maybe you kiss and make up with your parents or you see things from a different perspective, whatever, um, that is when the conflict gets resolved and you go into the healing phase and your body no longer needs these extra cells so it starts to get rid of them. So that, that results in um, diarrhea, blood and mucus and, and infections, so-called infections. The bacteria and fungi uh, start to get to work to remove this, this extra cell tissue you don't need. And then what happens with a lot of people with these, you know, so-called autoimmune diseases, you know, like Crohn's and colitis, is they get stuck in the healing phase. And they get stuck in the healing phase with tracks. Now, tracks are things that remind you of, of the conflict. So let's, you know, that fight you got in with your parents. So maybe every time you see your parents or you get a text message or a phone call from your parents, uh, this will trigger the healing symptoms. It will trigger the diarrhea, the blood, and the mucus symptoms. It takes you out of the healing phase and puts you back into the conflict active phase. And again, for more precise details, um, I have the the video, uh, Caroline Marklin's video, linked down below. It's, it's much more accurate than I'm giving it to you. I'm just giving you a very short, abbreviated version right now. And... Yeah, so tracks will keep you trapped in the healing phase. And, there's a, and, and the way that we develop these food intolerances usually involves uh, extended tracks. So when you experience a track, you have, um, there's a window there where you can add tracks to the list. And so usually when we get diarrhea, instead of blaming it 
on you know the emotional causes of diarrhea we are you know sitting on the toilet blaming the foods that we ate that day and so the, they get registered as tracks and then before you know it you're allergic to everything so then we have the third biological law which is it has roots in embryology and again i i am not presenting this very accurately check out her video for more so uh there are primarily four germ layers when, when you when you're developing as an embryo and each organ originates from one of these germ layers and depending on what germ layer it comes from uh, it it shares certain characteristics so a lot of the digestive organs come from the endoderm which is the oldest like far, if you're talking about like evolution like the oldest most simplest organisms on earth like have the endoderm layer and um, these tissues are very old and they they respond to these these conflicts with cell proliferation and cell removal in the healing phase so this is what's going on here so the embryo again this is more this is more advanced stuff so i'm not really going to go over it but it's it's based in embryology and it's it's really cool stuff so if you're into that and then the fourth law which i had a hard time accepting at first is bacteria and fungi are our friends. Now, if you think about this, I, it took me a long time to accept this, but if you think about this, you know, bacteria and fungi were here before any, any like multicellular organisms. You know, multicellular organisms cannot exist without bacteria and fungi. We are more bacterial and fungal cells than we are human cells. You know, they are essentially part of us. You know, and I've seen people take probiotics and disinfectants for years and still have a messed up gut microbiome. And it is because their growth is controlled by these significant biological special programs. When you are in the conflict active phase, the bacteria and fungi start to grow on that organ or on the tissue that's that's active that has this program active but it the, but they'll be dormant they won't be active so they're growing 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 and then when the conflict gets resolved that's when they become active and they're going to partake in the cell removal or the cell proliferation depending on on which organ is affected and how that uh, significant biological program responds to that so, yeah, I, it took me a long time to accept this, but I think the story that really nailed this home for me, uh, I've, I've been learning a lot about terrain theory, um, but the story that nailed this home is uh, Masha and, and Dasha. These were uh, Soviet twins that they were like combined at the hip, you know, they were stuck together. And, you know, one had a, one was, had like a relatively positive outlook on life and the other one was kind of negative and dark and gloomy and the one that was dark and gloomy had all sorts of health issues so-called infectious diseases and the other one had you know smoke and drank and did whatever he wanted and he was fine and so if if this were true if the terrain theory was true and if germ theory was true i mean they would if, if germ theory was true they would have the exact same diseases that was not the case. If terrain theory was true, then you know the other the 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 other side would at least be some sort of messed up. But that's not true. So it was the brain that was controlling which organs, you know, had these significant biological special programs running. You know, it, it, your brain or your psyche controls everything in your body. The psyche has the ability to activate these significant biological special programs. And these programs, the fifth, the fifth biological law, or the fifth, fifth law of German New Medicine, is you know, each of these bio special, biological special programs are designed to help us survive these conflict shocks. So that's it, German New Medicine in a nutshell. 
and it's it's a whole new way to think about disease because the way we think about disease today is it's caused by malnutrition it's caused by stress which is kind of true but you know there are people who do yoga every single day and you know they they avoid stress and they you know they still come down with these diseases and cancer and um you know they eat they there's people that avoid all the toxins and do all these things and they still don't they can't just experience life they can't go out to eat with their friends they can't go eat go out to eat with their family because every time they eat something tasty they go into a flare and german new medicine explains this it is so easy to get rid of your food intolerances uh, once you understand german new medicine and for a lot of you it's going to be identifying and neutralizing your tracks you identify it and then you convince yourself that it is safe but I have more details on that in other videos. And again, this was a this was a quick explanation of German New Medicine. And uh, but Caroline Markelin, you know, she personally worked with Dr. Hammer, and she it takes about an hour to explain this correctly. And she has a lot of experience. So go watch her video if this intrigued you. And uh, I have a course. If you're very serious about healing your gut, I have a course called the Rapid Gut Healing Program that shows you everything that I did and my students did to heal your gut. It includes German New Medicine where I explain in great detail uh, how each uh, digestive organ uh, operates in these significant biological special programs and how to turn, you know, close them so that you can eat normal foods again without all these nasty symptoms. Uh, this program comes with video courses, a workbook packet that you can print out that has all sorts of cheat sheets and, and useful information in there, uh, food list, meal plans, things like that. We have a Facebook group where I have coaches in there answering everybody's questions, and we do live Q&As twice a week. And now we normally charge $1,000 for this, but right now we're charging $497, and we also have a payment plan of six monthly payments of $97, and yeah, that's, that's the deal, but that price will go up without warning. We have a threshold, uh, a quota of people to meet, and then once we hit that, that amount, we are raising the price. So we wanna make sure that everyone in the group uh, gets enough attention from our coaches. So that's why we're doing that. So guys, you know, if you wanna learn more about this, stay tuned to the channel, watch, you know, hit like, hit subscribe, ask a question down below, and we will personally answer it, give you advice on what we what we would do in your shoes so all right guys that's all i got for you today bye bye see you in the next video